The following bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the Bama featherweight division. Introducing first, the man standing to my right and fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet eight inches tall. His official weight, 145 and one quarter pounds. He is a grappler with a record perfect at four and oh, fighting out of Doncaster, England. Zai Shaw! His opponent stands across the cage to my left and fights out of the blue corner. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, his official weight and even 145 pounds. He is also a grappler, his record two and oh, fighting out of Grimsby, England, Andy Craven. Your referee, Mark Goddard. So it's as simple as this, two young in, men in the cage, neither has known defeat, and it possibly will almost certainly happen for one of them tonight. But as Frank Trick says, they won't be worrying about that now. And the slightly taller of, you, of the two, as you can see, is Andy Ooh. Craven, the aggressive one as well, coming forward. Oh, wow. big right hand, though, by Zai Shah. Yeah, Shah also has a, he had a very quick, got caught that time, got taken down, you know, caught that kick and was put on his back. But Shah is a very, very good quick front kick, too, as well, that came right into the rib. Uh, without changing his feet, didn't have, to, didn't have to chamber it up, just lifted it up and put it right in the ribs and made Andy Craven have to step forward a little bit heavier. Oh, to get a nut for a nice arm bar right now. Well, we could expect to see a lot more of this, Frank, because five of their six wins oh. have all come Heal by it. submission. That's it. That's it. Oh, my That's goodness. It. What I was saying, that five of the six wins have come by submission, Craven's already got it. How many seconds was that? 30? That was incredible. Jeez, I didn't get a chance to look at the time. I haven't looked up yet before it happened. Caught him with the heel hook, was sitting up, was getting caught in the armbar, defend the armbar, set back in the heel, and rolled off. Well, good position change, and really, it wasn't that tight of a heel hook. Shaw doesn't know which way to go, he didn't know how to rotate out of it. All he did was turn, his, turn himself to his left. He would have got, got out of that one. But excuse me, turned himself to the right, he got himself out of that one. I mean, let's be honest, it went according to script. I was just about to say to you, five of the six fights have ended in submission. Now six of the seven here with his heel hook has ended in submission. So he doesn't have the leg over, he's not in a very good position. And you see Shaw tries to roll back. All he had to do, all he had to do really in that position was turn himself to his left and sit up and grab a hold of that knee and peel the knee off. He would have been out with no problem. Great position change, good snap, good explosion by Andy Craven to get right into that heel hook. He jumps right into it, digs underneath it, pulls it out, and sets himself back. Right there, all he do is pull the knee apart. He would have been out of there. Shaw tries to lift his leg up and that bad. He's gonna have to go back to the drawing team and figure out defense. To a heel hook. The ball games at 37 seconds of the opening round. We have a tap out. Your winner by submission via heel hook. Andy 